China continues to enhance iChip self-sufficiency, but high-end iChip development remains constrained. Huawei subsidiary High Silicon has made significant strides in the independent R&D of iChips, launching the next Genesis 910B. These chips are utilized not only in Huawei's public cloud infrastructure but also sold to other Chinese companies. This year, Beidou ordered over a thousand Sen 910B chips from Huawei to build approximately 200 i servers. Additionally, in August, Chinese company iFlight Tech, in partnership with Huawei, released the Gemini Star program, a hardware and software integrated device for exclusive enterprise LLMs, equipped with the Sen 910B i acceleration chip, according to Trend Forces research. Trend Force conjectures that the next generation Ascend 910B chip is likely manufactured using SMUX Sen Plus 2 process. However, the production faces two potential risks. Firstly, as Huawei recently focused on expanding its smartphone business, the N Plus 2 process capacity at SMUX is almost entirely allocated to Huawei's smartphone products, potentially limiting future capacity for iChips. Secondly, SMIC remains on the entity list, possibly restricting access to advanced process equipment. Market analysis indicates that the SN 910B's performance slightly lags behind the A800 series and its software ecosystem significantly differs from NVIDIA's CUDA, impacting usage efficiency. However, considering the potential expansion of U.S. restrictions, Chinese manufacturers might be compelled to shift toward the SN 910B. There remains considerable potential for China to improve and establish a complete I ecosystem. U.S. sanctions drive Chinese CSPs to increase investment in I chip autonomy. Chinese CSPs like Beidou and Alibaba are actively investing in autonomous I chip development. Beidou developed its first self-researched as a I chip, Kunlongsen, in early 2020 with its second generation scheduled for mass production in 2021 and the third expected to launch in 2024. Post-2023, Beidou aims to use Huawei's Ascend 910B acceleration chips and expand the use of Kunlungsen chips for its I infrastructure. After Alibaba's acquisition of CPU IP supplier Zongshan Microsystems in April 2018 and the establishment of T-Head Semiconductor in September of the same year, the company began developing its own Azagai chips, including the Hangyuang 800. Trendforce reports that T-Head's initial Azagai chips were co-designed with external companies like GG. However, after 2023, Alibaba is expected to increasingly leverage its internal resources to enhance the independent design capabilities of its next-gen ASIC chips, primarily for Alibaba Cloud's I infrastructure. China's high-end I chip development is limited by the U.S. entity list and restrictions on advanced process ETA. The U.S. sanctions encompass both software and hardware aspects of China's high-performance computing HBC, and I application sectors. Notably, in October 2023, the U.S. Department of Commerce added companies like Byron and more threads to the entity list. Additionally, regulations governing advanced manufacturing processes, such as logic kicks with processes finer than 16 nanometers, DRAM with processes finer than 18 nanometers, and NAND flash with more than 128 layers designated for export to China, were introduced. These measures have extended the review criteria for iChip hardware design beyond total processing performance to include performance density requirements, thereby complicating the supply of high-end iChips from leading manufacturers like NVIDIA and AMD. Beyond the 2023 U.S. sanctions, the latter half of 2022 saw significant restrictions on ETA semiconductor design software tools particularly affecting the design of advanced processes like Samsung's 3 nanometers or TSMC's 2 nanometers technologies. Although the mainstream market chips, such as NVIDIA's A100 and AMD's MI200, are based on the 6 7 nanometer process, and upcoming models like NVIDIA H100 and AMD MI300 series are expected to shift to 4 5 nanometer processes by 2024, Trend Force forecasts that, despite EDA restrictions not having an immediate significant impact in the short term, 
they will pose long-term challenges for China in adopting more advanced processes and in the development of next-gen, higher-performance HPC or I-chips.